Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc, and in this tutorial today we're going to be looking at how to make planets and have them rotate using HitFilm Express. HitFilm Express is the free version of HitFilm. You can also buy different add-ons depending on additional effects you might be interested in, but what I'm going to show you today is just using the free version. I was needing to use this for a short film of mine, which I'll put a link in at the end of the video and also in the description. And I found the tutorials out there to be very confusing and not very helpful at all. So that's why I'm making this one for those that are interested in this. Let me tell you what I've already done. I have started, opened up HitFilm Express, I started a new project, and then I clicked on Compositing. I have, through this import right here, I've uploaded two images from the Hubble Space Telescope that I'm going to work with. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a sphere. So I'm going to click on that nebula picture and put it right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Effects and Generate. I'm going to find the Spheres effect. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it right over here. Boom, there it is. Now there are a lot of other effects that I could apply to this. I think that's under Lights and Flares, yep. So I can make that glow, oops. Put it right there, and there it goes. Uh, you can try some of these other effects as well. Uh, a neon glow would put a glow around the planet. All right, so now we have it in a sphere. So let's go ahead and do the next step. So the next step is going to be, I'm just going to off wherever in this box over here, I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to create a new point layer. And this is going to be the axis in which I rotate the planet. Now if I go into control and go into the layer properties, so I've clicked on this is highlighted, I go into control the layer properties, I'm going to make the point 3D. So that point is now 3D. The images, uh, the actual image of the nebula itself, I'm leaving at 2D. And I think there's a place to show you that. There it is. All right. Now what I'm going to do, under the sphere effect, I'm going to click on this going down. So I've, again, I've got the sphere effect. I've clicked on that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to highlight position. And then I'm going to ask it to transform. I'm going to click on this to the new point. Okay, now I've got that. So now what I, what's happened is I've tied this sphere to the new point by doing that. Right, now I'm going to go to the new point. Right like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and transform. And then I'm going to click on... Let's see, let's go ahead in this box here. I'm going to click on Rotate. And I think that's the Y that I want. I'm going to click on that. Now what that does is that when I click on that, that leaves a keyframe. And a keyframe, all that is, is like it's like a bookcase between two points that you want to apply effects. So I want to rotate it. So I, I started the key point there. That's where I wanted to start at the beginning. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the end. And now I'm going to go into here and say, OK, how many times do I want this planet to rotate? And I'm going to say one time. 
but you can do that as many times as you want it's kind of hard to see there oops whoa that was way too much oh my gosh there you go all right now if I go back to the start let's see if it works after all that did I, did I make it work right oh my gosh the planet is rotating okay awesome so really quick here uh, obviously that's super slow but you can again speed it up as much as you would like but uh, let me show you one other thing here uh, so this is a planet all by itself let's create let's give it a friend let's give it a friend I'm gonna move this nebula right there now if you notice oh my gosh a planet has disappeared so what's happened let's see this nebula here so what I need to do is I need to move this nebula down so the planet is above it what I just did is I grabbed it and I pulled it down now it's there and now again I've got rotation and then you just simply go to export over here and there's different uh, choices here in mp4 you can uh, adjust the target bit rate now, there wasn't any audio in this but you could adjust that and then you would export it and that's how it would work so I will leave a link below to my one of my films that used a planet and it's also going to pop up in the link in the upper right otherwise consider subscribing appreciate you watching and take care